Maximoff says, thoughts on the Jews? <laughs> well, that's complicated. Most of, most of my friends are Jews, which is pretty interesting, you know. And when I, I grew up in northern Alberta and there were no Jews up there at all. So um, it, coming out to eastern Canada, especially in Montreal, there were lots of Jewish people there. And I made friends with lots of them. And then in, in, my, in Toronto, like, and I, th I think part of the reason that so many of my friends have, have been Jewish is because the Jews have, you know, and I'm obviously speaking in a very general sense is they have a rich intellectual life and tremendous respect for for intellectual pursuits and so we have a natural affinity and so um you know more power to them as far as i'm concerned there's a fair there's a fair bit of evidence especially with regards to the ashkenazi jews that they their their average iqs are about 15 points higher than the general population which accounts in part for the radical overrepresentation among nobel prize winners for example and also in positions of let's say authority and responsibility in many different domains and it's like man i'm not unhappy about successful people it's like as i said it's the same in relationship to money as far as i'm concerned it's it's not that you have a position of authority and i'm not going to say power because power and authority aren't the same thing but if you have a position of authority what matters is what you do with it and so if competent people occupy positions of authority, then more power to them. That's lucky for the rest of us, I'll tell you that. So, um, and I think, you know, I've often thought this about the Jews too, is that if you're going to be a minority, you should at least have the decency to fail. And I think that part of the, re because, you know, then, well, you're around and you're annoying because you're a minority and, you know, because people are fundamentally uh, ethnocentric and all human beings are like that. But if a minority fails, then well, you can say, well, at least they failed. And, you know, that maybe allows you not to hate them quite as much. But the Jews have this annoying proclivity where they go as a minority to become extremely successful. And of course, nobody can stand that. And so that's a huge part of what accounts for anti-Semitism, which I regard as an absolutely, you know, abysmal and, and, and uh, what would you call it, reprehensible a priori stance, you know, so... That's some of my thoughts about them anyways. He's amazing. Very clear. But let's put it all together. Really what's unique about the Jew is the Jewish soul that defines them. And that Jewish soul is a part of God that's an infinite light. And therefore, that gives us more intellectual, rich life. It gives us also the capacity that we can't fail. Because light will always be stronger than darkness. And as far as anti-Semitism... That's what ultimately is not appreciated and hated about the Jew, is that they are a unique, different people who are the people of God to bring goodness and kindness in this world, to make an impact, to change the world for good. There are good people like Jordan Peterson who appreciate that, respect that, admire it. And there are others who don't want to live up to that. And therefore, they got to cut down the Jew. But make no mistake, it's the Jewish soul that defines the Jew.